so glad you could join us today. How's everybody doing? That's so good to hear. We are excited about Easter coming up on Sunday, aren't we, Eleanor? Yes. Eleanor, what are you looking forward to about Easter? Mm, Easter egg hunt. Easter egg hunt. Are you all looking forward to an Easter egg hunt as well? Yeah, they're pretty fun. So today we are super excited that we get to share with you one of our family's favorite Easter books called The Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross. And it's by Carl Lafferton and illustrated by Catalina Echeverry. So Eleanor, I know this is one of your favorite Easter books. Can you tell me and share with everybody what is one thing that you like about this book? I like um, that it's very colorful and it matches um, the story. All the colors match the story. It is. It's illustrated really beautifully. Do you have a favorite part in the book? Mm, the curtain rips. Where the curtain rips. So you guys all can be listening for that part in the story. The garden, the curtain, and the cross. A very long time ago, right here in this world, there was a garden. In the garden, everything was wonderful. The world was full of laughing and playing and smiling and fun. There was nothing bad ever. There was no one sad ever and best of all, God was there. He had made it all. He was in charge of it all and he loved it all. People could see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God. Hello, Adam and Eve. Eve, God's here. He wants to walk with us again. How cool is that? Yay, I bet it's going to be even more amazing than yesterday. It was wonderful to live with God, but then one day, the people did a terrible thing. They decided they didn't want to do what God said. They decided they wanted a world without God in charge. God calls this sin. Sin spoils things. So sin has no place in God's wonderful garden. And God said to the people, you can't live with me in my garden anymore. And he sent them outside. To show the people they had to stay outside, God put some warrior angels in front of the garden. The angels were like a big keep out sign. Now things were sometimes bad. Now things were sometimes sad. But people still kept sinning because they didn't want God to be in charge. So no one could come into God's wonderful place. And God said, because of your sin, you can't come in. God wanted people to remember, it is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. So he told the people to build a special building called his temple, where he would live. And in the middle of the temple was the most wonderful place in the world, the place where God was, with nothing bad and nothing sad. It was very exciting. But then God told people to put a big curtain around this wonderful place. You guys see the big curtain? The curtain had pictures of warrior angels on it. It was a big keep out sign. For hundreds of years, the temple curtain reminded people that God said, 
It is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. Babies became grown-ups and had babies, and those babies became grown-ups and had babies, and those babies became grown-ups and had babies. And the keep-out curtain stayed in the temple for hundreds of summers and winters that passed by. And then, one day... God's son came to live in this world as a person. He was called Jesus. Jesus always did what God said. Jesus never sinned. And Jesus visited the temple where the keep out curtain hung. Jesus knew that things were sometimes bad and sometimes sad. Jesus said that God had sent him to open the way back to God's wonderful place where the world would be nothing bad and no one sad. But people still didn't want to let God be in charge. So they decided to put Jesus on a cross to die. It was the most bad thing that had ever happened. It was the most sad day of all time. But Jesus had a plan. He had always planned to die on the cross. What a strange plan. Why would God's son plan to die? On the cross, Jesus took our sin. All the bad things we do and all the sad things they cause, Jesus took them all from us. And when he did, something amazing, astonishing, astounding happened. What do you guys think that amazing, astonishing thing is? <gasps> the curtain tore. God had ripped up the keep out sign. God's wonderful place is open again because Jesus died. Now we can go in. After Jesus died, his friends put him in a tomb. They were very sad. For two days, nothing happened. And then the next morning, Jesus' friends went to see his body in the tomb. And it wasn't there. A little later on, Jesus' friends were all together and suddenly Jesus was there. He was alive. Suddenly his friends weren't sad. Now they were so, so happy. God had brought Jesus back to life so that he could live in God's wonderful place forever. And Jesus had sent everyone an invitation to come and live with him there too. He tells us, God says it is wonderful to live with him, but because of your sin, you can't come in. But I died on the cross to take your sin. So all my friends can now come in. We can live with God forever. There will be nothing bad and no one sad. We will see God and speak to God and just enjoy being with God just as he planned. It will be wonderful to live with him. And it's all because of Jesus. We will say every day, thank you, Jesus. You're amazing. And you can start saying that today. Can you all say that with me? Thank you, Jesus. You're amazing. Great job, everybody. So I hope that you all enjoyed reading along with me. And we also hope you have a happy Easter. So bye. <music>
just lies the fireflies in your brother's jaws. The flashing crowds and you would sneak them so they'd be home again someday. The gentle breeze through everything.